Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Rotors Magazine. My name is Ken McKee, and today we're we'll talking about something different. Uh, we've, it's been a while since we posted a video, so I wanted to talk about um, injector dynamics injectors. Now, um, injector dynamics are personally my favorite brand of injector by a long shot. The reason is because their consistency, the fact they flow match their injectors. Um, there's a lot of reasons why you should like ID injectors. Now, um, this video is specifically tailored towards the ID2000 injector, which is based on the Bosch uh, EV14. 2200 cc injector now um i have them right here so we see a lot of these injectors used in e85 applications for a lot of cars across the board hondas uh, mazdas everything so like rx7 is using a lot for secondary and things like that but um a lot of times you see people use these for e85 uh, use and i would honestly probably say these are pretty much an e85 injector when you're running it on a car that runs like uh like a four-cylinder car like a honda civic when you run a Bosch 2200cc or anything that's that's based on the same type of injector, um, it doesn't it doesn't idle very well on gasoline because the pulse width is way too small. You're looking at sub one millisecond um, opening time, which does not idle very well for injectors. So um, the 2200cc injector is definitely an 85 injector. Now with that, there comes a lot of maintenance that you need to know with E85 with the Bosch 2200cc base injector. Now, when I say a Bosch 2200cc base injector, I mean something like an ID2000, um, a Bosch 2200cc injector, obviously, a Deutschworks 2000 injector, um, a fuel injector clinic 2150cc injector. They're all based on the same Bosch um, 2200cc injector. Now, um, one thing that's to note about these injectors is actually that they are based. These these Bosch injectors. When you look, when you get something from ID, when you get something for Fuel Injector Clinic, when you get something from them, they're all literally the same exact injector. All they do is they put them across a flow bench, find out which one flows a certain amount, and then they match them all together, then send them to you. Um, that system's very expensive to set up. That's where the additional cost comes in: that time, the effort, the labor, the amount of equipment, all the upkeep. And that's where you, what you're paying for. You're paying for an injector you know is going to be consistent across the board. You're not going to be leaner on one cylinder than another one by more than a few points. Um, whereas you can you can have upwards 10, 15, 20 percent variance between injectors when you have non-flow match injectors. So that's why you want to run a flow match injector. So when, like I said, when you're looking for an injector for a car, highly recommend ID, highly recommend FIC, um, Deutschworks. All these all these injectors are great. Um, just getting a standard Bosch 2200cc injector, um, you run a little bit of risk, not like a super amount of risk, but like if you want your peak performance, you need to run a flow match injector just for that reason. So. One thing you need to know about these things when you're running 85 in them is that you cannot let 85 sit in this particular injector. The reason is because 85 pulls water from the air and pulls it into the gasoline. What happens is it rusts the inside of the injector and it seizes. And this is a major problem in the 2000 cc Bosch injectors. And ID 1000 not run that that issue is bad. Or another injector really not going to run into that issue is bad. But specifically with these injectors, um, you're going to run into that issue if you let um, E85 sit in these injectors for too long. When I say too long, I mean like three to four weeks. Um, when you take them, sorry, when you take these injectors out of the fuel rail, um, you should immediately clean them or have already pickled them with gasoline. What I mean by that is that you should run a tank or so of gas through these injectors before you say put it away for the winter or something. That way you don't have ED5 in the injector and it won't seize up the injector. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I literally just ran into this issue because I was being a dumbass. I bought a set of ID2000s from a friend used. They were running ED5 previously. Um, I knew I had to go get them cleaned. I didn't get them cleaned and these two of these injectors I have four of them here um, Two of these injectors froze up. So uh, I just dropped them everywhere But two of these injectors froze up and um, I thought I'll let you guys know So when you're looking at getting fuel for your car set up make sure that if you're getting the 2000 cc injector uh, Make sure that you do get them cleaned or you run gas into them before you store them away for a certain amount of time And when they hit oxygen make sure you get them cleaned immediately Otherwise, you're going to run the same problem I am, and you're going to be out $400, $800 on injectors. So, um, <laughs> I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This is just a little quick video. I figured I'd make something since we haven't made anything for a little while. Um, I've been knee deep in my Civic um, GSR swap. I'll post a video of it real quick. But I'm thinking of making another channel that follows my Civic and other car stuff because I don't only do rotary things. I'm always moving around shooting videos and things like that. And I want to make sure this channel is purely rotary because I've made non rotary videos on here and people have complained. So, um, be on the lookout, I'm gonna make probably another channel here soon. And we can follow us on any of these social medias on the side. And if you like this video, you can subscribe. It's a little bit more of a just kind of a sit down and talk sort of thing. So, um, if there's anything you guys want to know about cars or uh, performance or anything like that, leave in the comments down below. If you have any questions about your own build, you want to build your own car, hit us up on our Facebook, hit us a message, you can message me, whatever. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.